Okay, I'm about to take off these American Lab ones because um, they haven't worked for us and I hate that they've yellowed like this. This is a three-year-old vehicle and I don't know when these were put on, but they're not wearing well and one of them stopped working. The nice thing is it looks like it's pretty simple. A couple bolts and an Allen and then maybe a few here. No, it looks like those go to that. And then unplug them here and then we'll pop the new ones in. Okay, got the American Adventure Labs one out. Look at all the crap that got trapped up there. Pretty simple to take out though. And I'm surprised they wouldn't just sell us this part because it does look like that does come out of there. But that's okay. This one's out, the new one goes in. You can see how similar the designs are. Um, the American Labs one is very much thinner. The Quake does make a thin variety like this that does have the amber on the side, but it's a hundred bucks more than this one and a hundred bucks more than this one. So we wanted to just go with this. Plus we like the LED look there. So anyway, see how that looks on the machine. There it is without, and it does greatly support this fender. So definitely needs to be on there. It looks like these Quake lights are pretty much exact same installation as the american labs one maybe a little some bolts um nylock washers nylock bolts and lock washers some little zip ties an allen wrench what looks like decent instructions there we go okay um just finger tightening the bolts got one more to go up here, just put that one in, put that one in. Um, superior design goes to Quake so far as they've got a, a better spot for your wrench to go in to get to that. The other one you had to come in through the top, which is really awkward. And it looks like on the Quake one, they've even blocked it off, which is a better look. So, so far, so good, pretty happy with this thing. That's what they look side by side. Um, I ended up, there's a gap on both of them, but to get this gap down right there, I ended up putting an extra washer in between the frame and this frame on both of these, just to raise it up a little bit. You can still see there's a little bit of space there, um, but you really can't notice it from here. Same with this one. There is a gap. There's a little bit of foam that they put. Maybe that's a good idea. This one's coming off now. These are seriously pretty much plug and play. You clip out the other ones, put this in, you're done. The Labs is the exact same installation, except that it's harder to get to that bolt. I can't get my wrench in through this little triangle. So I end up having to reach through there, which is actually a bigger, uglier gap than what you get with the Quake. So I think that's an improvement too. Okay, there she is done. Looks really good. I did the same thing on this side with the spacers here and here. Zip tied all along the fender and then into there. They are much tighter, less floppy stuff around. Um, they look better. And it's nice to have clear lights instead of opaque ones. I gotta clip those off and then we're done. Okay, running lights work. Blinker. Oh yeah, they look really cool. Turn the lights on, the headlights. Marker light works. Marker light works. There we go.